Hi, I'm David Stein. I'm the executive chef for Nutre. One of the big challenges for us as chefs is making food that's hearty and full tasting without throwing salt and fat at it, in order, which is typically where you get a lot of the flavors. So I'm going to talk this month about a couple techniques we use to, to heighten flavor without adding sodium, and without adding fat. The first step starts with your pantry. A good selection of spices and condiments to work with gives you a tremendous amount of leeway in being creative. There are spice blends that you can buy made. For instance, this is a za'atar spice from Turkey. This is Raz El Halnut, which is a Moroccan spice. And this is garam masala, which is Indian, obviously. Or you can do what we do very often, which is to make our own blends. I'm going to make a blend, a southwestern, slightly spicy blend. We're utilizing dried ancho chili powder, garlic powder, coriander, cumin, ground chipotle chilies, which are smoky and spicy, oregano, mesquite smoked powder, which is a great way to, to give, add a smoky flavor if you don't have the time to smoke something, and cayenne. But let me show you one important technique. With spices, anytime you can get them whole, you're better off doing that. They have much better shelf life. If you get ground spices, you'll, they'll start losing many of their essential oils a lot quicker. So I like to, to, to toast my seeds in a pan, which we will do here. I like to roast my spices in a dry pan, no oil, until they start to smoke. That's when you know they're releasing their aromatic oils. The, uh, your, the, the, your spices will last longer if you leave them whole. You need to get bigger flavor out of them. And, and uh, it's a great flavor enhancer. So this is starting to smoke. That means we're there. We don't want to go any further or they'll burn. And we return to our handy coffee grinder. This is just an inexpensive home-style coffee grinder. It's all you need. All good. A little further. So again, anytime you can buy whole spice, you can buy the chilies whole, toast them up and, and, and grind them. You'll get a tastier product and it, your spice blends will last longer because you're using whole. So we've made this already, our Southwestern Spice Blend, and we put it on some shrimp. These are 1620 shrimps, which is the size that we've rubbed with the, our own Southwestern Spice Rub. You can buy rubs like that. The problem is they tend to be very high in sodium. So when we make them ourselves, not only do we control the flavor profile, but we control the sodium. I work on these closely with my assistant chef, Jason. My talented assistant chef is really good at, with these rubs as well. And we're gonna bring him the shrimp, let him grill it up, and then we'll plate an entree for you. Now we'll plate up the shrimp dish. Look forward to this one on a spring menu.